What's going on? Hey, just uh, coming at you with a quick restore video. I'm kind of part way through, so I wanted to show progress. And uh, this would be on uh, these Chrome 8s. Picked these up really cheap, like 20 bucks shipped uh, a while ago. Um, they were really dusty. Um, they really weren't crazy abused. The soles were kind of worn. But um, still had quite a bit of life left for twenty dollars. I was just like, shoot! I already had a pair, so was, I was just buying these as a project more than anything. But anyway, so this is the condition with the midsoles. Now that I've cleaned them up, did some suede renew on the straps. Got all the Jordan looking good again. Air Jordan bubble letters aren't you know crummy and white. So those are obviously flattened down, but they blend pretty well. About as good as you can do with suede renew. And uh, cleaned them twice actually um, with just some. I think I used Lincoln Easy or no, I used actually a, a suede cleaner other than Lincoln Easy Suede. And uh, I didn't have laces, so I could pretty easy to find black laces. There's a couple little nicks on the toe, clean those up. Got those blended in pretty well. You can't even see that from my eye level when I'm having them on my feet. And um, anyway, they're in pretty good shape. For the money, I mean, geez, I'm not gonna complain there. And they weren't like totally abused, just worn a little more than I care to wear my kicks. But the major problem with all of these is the midsole. Paint is far better than it used to be, or than it is currently, but at the same time, it rubs off kind of easy as opposed to flaking off and cracking. It was more of a, if it caught abrasion, it just would kind of take it right off, and it was a very thin layer, kind of similar to some of the stuff from 2006 through present on many of the Jordan retros, but it's literally missing there. And anyway, um, found the mix with these colors. Always got to have white and black, because you always got to get your adjustments right with the coloring, but pewter is very close, uh, starting base. It's actually a little bit darker than the original color, which of course you're seeing the original there. And I have since gone and um, as my first paint experiment on shoes, have this all taped off and painted with a couple coats. I think I'm going to put another one or two on. May even do a matte finisher at the end, but to put them side by side, obviously it's going to be a little shinier because this is all dulled out from age. And this is very fresh paint, but color-wise, are really close. I don't know how much the camera can translate. Color plus a ton of it's missing on the left shoe there. Technically the right shoe, but left side of the camera. So yeah, it's got it, um, and when you kind of compare it to the the color here on the patch, you know, it's pretty close. They weren't identical to begin with, since it didn't have any metallic flake in it. Um, but, you know, it keeps that nice sparkle to it, the original, and it gives it a nice fresh look. And just to show the rest of the work where I'm at so far, Around the back. And down the uh, upper inside. Um, I, I bought some of the actual edge lock tape from 3M. Uh, it was kind of the middle ground between the frog tape, which only came in one thickness, it was about double that thick. And I just, you know, I, I'm cutting these things down to like really skinny strips, as you can see. I mean, it's like half the width I need of the tape is what's up here. So the skinnier, the better, plus it saves money. And um, since I can only get to one shoe at a time, uh, I went ahead and, and kind of cellophane wrapped this in a little vitamin lid. Uh, to keep it wet, and so that way I could keep the exact same color for both shoes. You know, every shoe's probably going to turn out just a tiny bit different than the one before, and I got actually three pairs of eights I need to do this to. These were just far and away the worst. Um, and I, the ones I paid the least for out of the three, so I figured I'd uh, start with these, and happy with the results so far. So um, just wanted to give a quick update on uh, this little new project. It's... Uh, kind of taken over now that I have a bunch of paint. And I'll be doing some threes next, some flips and some fire reds. As I said, all the 2006 and seven pairs are just not in the kind of order they should be in for um, my quality standards anyway, so I'll get them up to snuff. Uh, quick shout to what's on my feet, because I always like to show that. I've got some uh, Air Revolution retros, kind of a white 
like a fake patent, I guess. I'm not exactly sure um, what the material is, kind of vinyl-y. But um, this is a tribute to my very first pair of Nikes in 1988. I had some revolutions in a GS uh, white with primary colors colorway. They don't make them for adults. And I picked these up for 30 bucks. Pretty happy with them. They look very clean. Typical of the 2007, again, a little bit of cracking going on in the midsole, nothing that can't be repainted, but she basically looks unworn, save for the paint. So, finally got a pair of adult size to tribute myself from uh, freaking 23 years ago, I guess it's been. Anyway, that's that. Thanks for subscribing and checking it out, and I'll uh, give a little progress update when these are all cleaned up and ready to rock. Later.